Adrian. Yes. Adrian, this yes, is sir. Melbourne Revealed, and where are we? We are in Acme. Which is amazing, and right behind us we have the piano from the piano. So, I suppose we should do a vlog. Hello, welcome to Melbourne. I don't know shit. <laughs> Adrian, this is just so inappropriate. I know, well everything, let's face it, everything's inappropriate these days. We are in the city, we're piss farting around, but we're crossing over to the always extremely ugly Federation Square. I don't hate it. What we do know is that there's something going on. So over the road, as we wait for the lights, is Federation Square. And inside Federation Square, we will find Acme. That's not Acme. Uh, well, we'll probably find some of that too. Um, but Acme is the Australian centre of the moving A image. Moving image. about that new show Melrose Place. Oh my, oh my God. God. Okay, folks, Federation Square. Here's the offices of SBS. He's one of our main-ish. Excuse me. I wonder if that person's really a security guard. So folks, here we are, we're in Federation Square, just uh, getting ready to join, to go into Acme, which you can see over there, you can see the big ACMI sign. So Adrian, I'm gonna ask you before we go in. Sure. So we're gonna probably see a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of Australian cinematic history. Histoire, mm -hmm. as they say en français. Um, what would be your favorite Australian TV series? Should I say Neighbours? I, I, I have applied for a role on that show for the last 30 years and have been unsuccessful every time. What are the, What is uh, uh, Carl and Susan Kennedy going to do? I, I don't know. I, I assume that they'll go on with their lives. But what about Toadfish? How much um, are we going to miss Toadfish? Oh, look, so I, much. Oh, Toadie's been a part of my life for um, a long You've had a little now. crush on Ryan Maloney, haven't you? Not really, actually. You told me that, you know, if there was one person in the world that, uh, I'm making this up you, now. I'm just making shit up. That's what I do. <laughs> what do you mean now? <laughs> Look, I think that it's, a, it's such a beautiful day. We should go indoors. All right, let's let's do that. Acme folks, hang out in, at a laundromat or next to a gumball machine. Oh, we have to check in, so I'm going to have to turn this thing off again. Hello. Hi. Thank you. See what you can do. Is, you take this lens thing and then you like beep it on the different things and then you can uh, recover your memories on the internet. So Adrian's going to go behind this wall and he's going to create things on the screen. There he is, that's Adrian with a, and he disappeared. Oh, okay, that's a bit, I don't know what he's doing in there. It's all a bit rude, really. Um, I was naked. <laughs> I want to go home. Why are we sitting around watching the Marvel's Avengers and other films where we could be watching this sort of thing 24-7? We've really lost sight of what true entertainment is. We have. We really have. But I mean, She's offering a branch of... It's an olive branch of peace. We're going to piss everyone off, aren't we? That's what we do. Look at this. This is an English mahogany and brass by Union Magic Lantern. Old style projectors that were um, used to, you know, entertain people back in the day. And little stories told over a series of uh, coloured pictures that would be shone and uh, see in this one here you could turn it around everything was already loaded and this is pretty freaking cool My <laughs> and that's what it looks like without the flashing light Sorry if that's disappointed everyone. That's, that's, that's like seeing the magician behind the curtain. That's a big, uh, big cinema projector there. RCA. Oh wow, look at this thing. 
So we've very quickly moved from film into the colour era now. I think some of these things were actually back in the uh, back in the days. Uh, this is a famous. Oh, well, it's a mixture of things. But um, some of these were actually they actually hand painted the frame, so they coloured it. That's incredible. Which is why the colour, although it definitely exists, doesn't look realistic. Um, which is probably not the, the aim. Over here, would you believe, folks, we have the piano from the movie. What was it called again? Uh, the keyboard. The, the, the guitar. The, the, the guitar. The, uh, the sitar. Yeah. Could have been called the piano. There it is. Do not. Do not touch. Yes, Shit, let's well. run. Okay. The, but honestly, honestly, folks, the piano from the piano. That's, that's rather cool. Over here, we have a giant camera from GTV. Nine, Channel 9, one of Channel 9's old cameras there. Wow. Um, this would be back in the black and white era. And what they used to do, Adrian, I'm not making this up because I've watched a lot of documentaries on how they used to make Doctor Who in the 1960s. Each one of those lenses is, a, is obviously a different perspective. And so when they needed to do a close-up, they would cut to another camera, they would swing the thing around, focus the lens, uh, and then they cut back to that camera. We're, this is also, this is often how they would film news uh, and live shows. So yeah, with the, they're huge. Look at, look at the size of that thing. Do you know what year TV came to the country of Australia? Um, I think it was the 50s, was it? Yeah, which year exactly? 53? No, when was it? It's 1956. And it was 1956 because it came in just in time for the, the Melbourne Olympics. Olympics. You're right, it did too. There you go, there's some fun facts about television in this country. We didn't get colour till the mid 70s. Over here, uh, we have a little bit about advertisements on Australian TV. Uh, so, some famous ads that you might know. So, I, I think uh, at Brunswick last year, I talked, we talked a, a tiny bit about Franco Cozzo. Well, here he is. Comprate uh, de Franco Cozzo, dove? Grand Sale in Brunswick and Footscray. Grand Sale, Grand Sale, Grand Sale. Over here we have Norm, Norm from Life Be In It Today. Today. And look, not happy, Jan. Not happy, Jan. Folks, that was for actually the Yellow Pages, which used to be a um, telephone directory. Remember them? They're in a book. Oh, they were too. Now, do you remember the um, if you drink, then drive? You're a bloody idiot. What they didn't clarify if you drink and drive it's fine why you folks back in other countries might not realize is that a lot of films actually shot here in australia mm. yes we said we won't charge you much if you come down and make hollywood blockbusters here i think parts of the star wars trilogies and we not the first one but but since about the late 90s i think they really moved a lot down up to sydney down to sydney from where they are Here we have a miniature landscape of, uh, well, you know, yeah. something, yeah. War of the Worlds or something. Miniature magic. And here we go, folks. A little bit of Mad Max for you. Over here you 
can you can hear about the stories of different filmmakers um, who will tell you you plug on your headphones and you hear an interesting story or two. We're obviously here we're in the area celebrating Indigenous films, uh, Indigenous uh, influence and contributions to the Australian film industry over the years. It's very important that we uh, hear the stories of Indigenous Australians. Uh, here's a little, uh, we've got a couple of displays here to two incredibly iconic and historic Australian TV shows. Over here we have one that celebrates what, um, I don't know if we're allowed to say it, but um, known as wog culture in Australia. Oh. The influence on Italians and Greeks here. Yes. It's Acropolis now. Oh look, weren't they just over the top Greek and they just, they unashamedly took the piss out of their own culture and they loved it. It was very tongue in cheek. Over here, uh, we have uh, we have Wentworth and Prisoner. So Prisoner is the original 1970s, 1980s t TV show, which is one of Adrian's favourite shows. I wish um, it's actually one of my favourite shows. I was just kidding around. Um, with the famous B. Smith and Lizzie Birdsworth. And over there, I think you'll find we've ships. got the freak. Look at all the ships. Oh yeah, shivs. I don't know. You know that that's real. They make shivs out of toothbrushes. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really. They quite... learn how to do it on, on while watching Prisoner. Yeah, their dental hygiene is terrible, but great knives. And uh, I don't know about Acropolis now, but oh, I do believe Prisoner is a truly iconic Australian TV show. Um, you've also got Wentworth, which is the modern day uh, reboot of the series that's they just finished last year, and I think they did seven seasons of that. Uh, they brought back a whole bunch of characters from the original TV show Prisoner, which was basically, it was a soap. Over here we have the, the Prisoner wall of all the classic characters from Prisoner. The question, the question is, can I name them? And this is Judy Bryant, who we were talking about before, who passed away last year, Betty Bobbitt. I think that's Phyllis Hunt. We've got Merle, we've got Lynn Anderson, we've got Reb Keen. That lady was in a wheelchair, but I can't remember the character's name. Um, here we have, um, what's his name? He ended up, uh, he went to Neighbours and became Harold Bishop. Ian Smith, Ian Smith, folks. We have yes. possibly the greatest character on the show, uh, <coughs> Lizzie, Lizzie Birdsworth, played by the irrepressible Sheila Florence. She was incredible, wasn't she, really? Like... And she uh, she passed away back in the early, no about 91, I think. Uh, she was only 73, so when she was in the show, when this photo was taken, she's probably in her late 50s. Is that actually makeup, or was she that weathered? She was pretty weathered. Um, I, 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 especially at the start of the show, they almost none of them wore makeup. That was like one of the things they were like it was like liberating to actually not have to wear makeup on screen. It's dark and real. Okay, folks, here we go. Adrian, you have the job of creating the soundtrack. So as he taps the shoes, he makes the sound of shoes. It's not very good. I apologise. Now, hot water bottle. It's over here. Balloon. Right in front of you, Adrian, the balloon. Now, shoes, back on the shoes. You're running fast. Adrian score, negative four. Now, in through here, we're just going to have a little look at news, Adrian, and we're going to see how things were covered back in the day from sporting events to historical things, Vietnam War, the work of Australian journalists, the Hindenburg.
There you go. And from time to time, I don't think right now, but from time to time they have uh, different exhibits as well. And Adrian, Adrian, look where we are. Oh my gosh. We've made it. Made it to the gift shop. Made it full circle. Adrian is going to find something amusing and make a joke about it. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Quite on set. Look, there's a little director. I reckon you'd still squeeze into that. Adrian Valenta, thank you once again for coming out and going somewhere in Melbourne with me and revealing a little bit more of Melbourne in this little series that I like to call Melbourne Shown to You. Um, nice. It, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, really yeah, it's a working title. What did you think? What did you think? Look, to be quite honest, I thought I, I had not been to Acme. Um, originally, I, I thought it was something you needed a cream for. Once I got over that, <laughs> um, I realised that it actually is a very interesting place. Um, it has lots of nostalgia, lots of history of Australian cinema and television. It's true. It's free. It's free to get in. It's, it's a large area. Bring the kids. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's a great place. It's free. What more can I say? Uh, I've just given you a little taste, but if you are in Melbourne, why don't you go on down and check out and learn a little bit about, about the incredible art that we all love, cinematographer Mephi. Cinematographer Mephi. Thank you very much for joining me once again, Adrian. Thank you for Thank having you me. for joining us, wherever you are in the world. Take care. May the journey never end. You and I have become a little bit of Australiana cinematic history. We have, we have indeed. You can't deny it. We, no one can can't. deny it. Indeniable or Fair undeniable, whichever word is a real word. Fair undeniable. Income. Fair income. Fair income, Khan. Sweet, mate.